Today I'm going to talk about a really easy to learn InDesign feature that despite being so simple can significantly change the way you work and that feature is called Quick Apply. Now in a nutshell Quick Apply is a way to apply any style whether it's a paragraph character or object style without lifting your hands off the keyboard and while it's most commonly used with styles in fact with Quick Apply you can apply just about any menu item feature in the entire InDesign program without having to use your mouse to select it. So let's take a look at how this works. I've placed my cursor inside some text that is currently unstyled that I'd like to apply a, a paragraph style to. And instead of going to my paragraph style palette, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my style through Quick Apply by pressing Command Return on my keyboard. And immediately the Quick Apply dialog box comes up. Now this dialog box, I can drag it around on screen like this. If I click outside of the dialog box, it goes away. And that is one of two ways of exiting Quick Apply. The other way is in the spirit of leaving your hands on the keyboard to simply press the escape key. But I want to be in Quick Apply, and what I'd like to do is apply my paragraph style to this text. And the name of my paragraph style is called Pull Quote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in, I'm going to type in the text pull quote, and look, after simply two letters, my paragraph style pull quote jumps up to the top. And that's because InDesign is scanning all the styles out there and all the menu items trying to find a match to whatever I'm typing. And pull quote, of course, is the closest match. That's what I want. And simply after typing in PU, I can press return. And look at that. My paragraph style is applied to my text. Very cool. So I'm going to zoom in here and notice that my word want here is purple and these two words quick apply are bold. So it looks like there's some local formatting in there and what I'd like to do is remove that local formatting and again I don't have to go to my paragraph styles palette. I can do this through quick apply. So I'm going to go back to quick apply and this time I'm going to press Alt return instead of return. And notice by the way that my pull quote style is still at the top. So InDesign remembers what I did last time. And let's remove our local formatting. Alt return. And look, the purple changed to the blue color we want. Although the words quick apply are still bold. And that is an indicator that that's probably a character style that's been applied to those two words. And we can even remove character styles through quick apply. This time I'm going to go back in and instead of pressing alt return I'm going to press alt shift return. And there now we've removed all local formatting and the character styles. Now notice that the alt return for the removing local formatting is the same exact thing that you would press if you are removing local formatting from your a paragraph style or from any of your styles is you would be pressing the alt key and clicking on them so it's the same type of deal. Now quick apply is not just used for styles although that's probably its most common use but I can apply any uh, menu, I, menu command in InDesign using quick apply. So if we look at our head here it's in all caps and what I'd like to do is I'd like to make this text title case instead of all caps and I actually did this in one of my previous tutorials, but we'll revisit it here. So I'm going to go to Quick Apply, and I'm going to type in the menu command that I'd like to do. And so I'm going to type in Title Case. And sure enough, that jumps up to the top. Change Case, Title Case. Press Enter, and now we have a headline style head. And that's pretty cool. Now another usage that I apply quick apply to quite often is bringing up my palettes because once in a while I can't seem to remember where certain palettes are. Like if I go up to my window drop down menu and I'm looking for my script palette, this is one that I'm always forgetting where it is. I scroll down here, script should be right here, but it's not, which means it's in one of these menu sub items. So instead of trying to hunt for that, I can go quick apply and I'll just type in scripts. And I look at my results and edit menu includes scripts. That doesn't look right, but the second one, window menu, automation scripts, that's what I want. I click that and sure enough my scripts palette pops up. And that's really cool. 
Now I have to say that even though Quick Apply has drastically improved my workflow, when I first learned about it, I was a little skeptical. After all, why hit Shift Enter, then type in some more characters when you can just go to your style palette and select your style? Furthermore, we've always been, been able to use keyboard shortcuts to apply our styles, and it seems that using keyboard shortcuts is a more efficient way of working than using Quick Apply. Well, there's a few reasons why I think Quick Apply is so useful, and I've learned this through repeated uh, use of this feature. First of all, it allows you to keep your hands on the keyboard, and if you're working with long documents, you know that using your mouse to go back and forth from your document to your style palettes becomes tedious, especially if you're having to scroll through long lists of styles. Second, in response to how Quick Apply compares to keyboard shortcuts, my response to that is that using Quick Apply will speed up your workflow tremendously when used in tandem with keyboard shortcuts. And here's what I mean by that. I'm going to quit out of my scripts palette and I'm going to bring up my paragraph style palette. And notice here I have all my paragraph styles for this document. And for about maybe eight of them or so, I've applied keyboard commands. And these are the paragraph styles that I am going to be applying the most in this in this document. But I only have eight here because that's about all that my overtaxed brain can memorize. Once I go beyond eight, I don't I just can't retain that over the long term. And so it's the paragraph styles without keyboard shortcuts, and I could say the same thing with character styles as well. That's those are the ones that I use quick apply. For. So here we have our pull quote. I didn't have a keyboard shortcut for that. So as I demonstrated, we can just go up to go up to quick apply, apply our pull quote that way. And over time, it's much more efficient because especially if you're working in a document with with lots and lots of styles and you're having to scroll through, say, 50, 60 styles, that is tedious just having to locate those styles. So quick apply is is a great substitute for that. So if you're not using Quick Apply yet, give it a try. I think you'll be glad you did. And that's our tutorial for the day. Until next time, thanks for watching.